OTG's open house event. It's their Discover Turnkey Excellence, and I'm here with Clinton, who's going to talk me through this Chiron DZ15FX machine. We're going to get the lowdown. So, Clinton, talk me through, because Tell me about the machine first, and then we'll get to the intricacies. Okay, Lindsay. We have, as you said, the DZ15FX Chiron machine. Uh, we're showcasing the twin spindle machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, twin spindle uh, for twice the productivity. So when you're talking twin spindle, my first question will be, twin spindle, are they working together? Does the, does the part need to be identical, or is it different? The part has to be identical. Uh, we are looking at volume production and uh, we're looking for volume, high precision products for this type of machine. So is that what you mean by a Chiron you're going to get high precision, but what's unique about this machine? This machine's unique, and yes, it has twin spindles. It has twin rotating axis with five axis. Chip to chip time, is it fast? I mean, it looks fast to me. Chip to chip time on this particular machine is 1.7 seconds. Uh, we have the tool change system in the back of the machine there with 24 positions. Options with, you always have options with Chiron, and uh, there is an option for a 12 plus 12 basket tool changer, which is arranged around the spindle, which gives you a chip to chip time of 0.9 of a second. Wow, Rick, that's impressive timing, especially from the time before. Now, um, so why have you chosen to put this application on the machine at an event like this? I think this part showcases all the features from a Chiron machine. Uh, it allows us to use the five axis capability. We can manipulate the product in many different directions. We can show the speed, and I mean the actual feeding speed on the machine, cutting metal. We're cutting aluminium at seven meters a minute, okay, at uh, five millimeter depth of cut. So it shows the power. Um, we have H HSK spindles, so they're very, very accurate. And some of the industry partners that you're working with, you've got Bloom here, so I'm talking, is that probing, is that, is that correct? Yeah, the, the probing on here from, from Bloom is, um, allows us to check uh, the tool lengths and to check for tool breakage. And the software, you've got a Siemens control, easy to use? Siemens control, uh, most people know the Siemens control. Uh, if you go to Chiron, uh, they would express that you have a Siemens control system. You can have Panic as well. Uh, a lot of the, the newer systems coming out now that, uh, that uh, organize the machine, uh, what we call kinematics, that allow you to compensate for any slight degrees of change within the machine structure, then a lot of that is really is through the, the Siemens control. There you have it, a high precision, I mean high volume machine. I've got one more question, and I think you've got one more something to say as well. Go on, you first. Okay, so high volume, high precision. We're looking at aerospace, we're looking at uh, medical industry um, and uh, probably anywhere that requires very, very, very high tolerance work. Right, one more question to you as well. On the top of the machine, it's open. I don't know if many people know about this, but you don't always see it open, do you? So what, why, why have you chosen yeah. to leave this open to the element? It is unusual to see all the machine gubbins uh, un un unprotected, but it's all about the um, about the rapid rates on this machine, because they are so high, to have a tin box uh, really clanging around on the top of the machine uh, and uh, reducing its dynamics, why do it? Yeah, exactly, why, why don't you strip it back and get to the product and the point chip to chip quicker. Thank you so much, Clinton. Any more information, please go to the ETG website. Thank you very much. Thank you.